Therefore, the true tenets of liberty, justice, and all that other type of stuff is based upon how it is you wound in the position you are and how the ritualistic games were created to perpetually put you in that system. So, again, for the layman or those considering the craft, craft means a trick. or to make over, over a period of time. So it's still about taking something and transforming it from its original state into something else. But that something else may not be the best state. A lot of the situations, think about this, a lot of situations that you went through as a child, growing up, now that you see, you would do totally different if you knew what you knew now rather than you knew then. But you had to not know then in order to value what you know now. Therefore, if you knew it then, you wouldn't know the things that you know now. You see? That's a, that's a quantum redundancy or what is called a, 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 like Occam, what they call Occam's razor, you know? Uh, so... Ritualistically, they create all these different little fake toy names for you in different societies and different historical books and cultures to always throw you off from the fact that you're reading about yourself. And in a world where everybody's in on a joke but you, you can see why so many of our people seem crazy. It's not the day. If, it, if being black was just being black, where you could just have your nationality and get some money and not be discriminated against and all of that, the way that it seems that it is, nobody would have a problem with this shit. I wouldn't. <laughs> but it just so happens is that based on the laws of equity, like I said, because of people like Towington, they created a system to perpetually put me in a disadvantage by listing me as some sort of property and getting me to believe that. So the very inference of me identifying myself with what I think my culture is, is the very same thing that is killing me and my culture. The only viable means of it is the physical expression of it in the manifestation of whether or not it makes money for the general populace. I could be a, a, a cultural rapper, you know what I mean, to an extent. I could be a cultural uh, NBA player, football player, whatever, to an extent. But the overall system and the agenda is the same. Hiram Abyss is the high ram. The ram represents Aries. The high represents Scott, Aries being the top. Therefore, the top, or Hiram Abyss, then, is a song resurrected. Both are the symbols of the mortgage, meaning the dead pledge. Because Osar, the myth of Os the myth of Osar, as well as the Hiram Abyss, which was all based upon a dead man, or the pledge of a dead man, being in the fact that he would not give up the secret to the ruffians. The Moors then are the true inheritors of the Amorak, meaning America, because there is but their estates were abandoned and put beyond the sea, the Holy Sea or the Vatican Sea, meaning the Sesta we trust or the sea Sesta we trust of 1666. The mark of the beast, or the year of the beast. Right? So, part of the aspect of we trust was that one had to be absent of themselves. Therefore, if you're absent of yourself, you have abandoned your original station. Therefore, you're not that. Therefore, you have to be something else. You are what we say you are. And because you believed them when they was bringing you into their country, you believed that that was true. But we perceive country today as being in a whole different part of the world when you can be in the same country but be occupied due different countries here in the United States. Meaning you can be a United States citizen or a national. Being a national means that you're part of the original national government. That's why being a Moorish American national is being a true man.
because everything is in the name or what they name it. So even though Shakespeare said a rose is a rose by any other name, it smells just a sweet. It's still, you still don't go around calling a, a rose a daisy. So the grammatical laws that were entwined into the creation of this so-called United States was the same thing. You know what I'm saying? The certificate is, well, how do we do it? All the sentences, what, how they flip it is that all the sentences of Adam are Caucasian, right? But remember, the term Caucasian means Caucasus Asian, meaning a group of Asians or of Asiatics that were sequestered or apart from everybody else, meaning the Moiety. The Moiety would be half, the other half of the entirety. So the Moiety in our instance would be the eels and the bays. But it's tricky because if you understand Caucasian to mean somebody that is what we perceive a white person, you see, then you are under the illusion then that you don't have an estate if you was to read this. This is why clarification and all of that has to be, can't be superfluous, right? Also, Caucasian can mean uh, cursed Asian, the cursed Asiatic, meaning those who lost their denationalization or, or who were put beyond themselves. Asian, of course, is Asi Asiatic or Ace, right? Meaning king or queen. The Moore Science Temple, then, is a vast estate trust. You see what I'm saying? So when we get into the Circle Seven Quran, where it talks about the descendants of Noah, who were the original inhabitants of the continent we call Africa, all the descendants of Noah, then, were Caucasian because they were the ones who survived the deluge and came out of all of that existed up until that time. But a so-called African woman, meaning somebody that was put under a denationalized Moabitess, right, a daughter of Ruth who is now denationalized, was then used to help children, right, after the Africans adopted the Jesuit created, or Jesuit influenced aspects of the religion of Islam due to the agreements that were made during the, the uh, Crusades. Uh, the last crusades at which Salah uh separated the Templar order and created the, what they call the fork in the road, which basically meant that the real Templars were the ones that were trying to go back into Mohammedism and find their way back over here. The fake ones was in it for glory and sexual conquest. So they created the Baphomet thing as a ritualistic false door for Mohammed. So those Templars that went into the satanic aspect of it and, and doing that to this day were the ones who fell in the deviant nature and were denied the true key to Islam, to our Islam. The ones that didn't, these were the descendants of Hugh de Payon, also known as Hugh of the Pagans, who again was a Moor. who dealt with sexual amalgamation among the Christian slaves and then having babies with them and then raising those raising their sons up and then marrying them off to other uh, white women Christian slaves to then produce the so-called white race that would allow them to rule because that was the trait of some of the European Moors to break their they relatives or whatever Instead of attacking them openly themselves, they, after a while, started to use the slaves and raise them up and create regiments to have the slaves prove themselves to them. And then when they won, they would allow the slaves to come in the family. But eventually, that just let the people stop. But they can't deny that, so to this day, they still call their royalty the black nobility. But 
they make you think black mean like satanic and torture when really that's the false door for the fact that there's a factions or factions among them that's why you got white shrines in the first place they're there to tell you what the black ones either don't know or forgot but the state government are in rebellion against the federal government right now. So the federal government is trying to do all these things to mandate a compliance with all of them, but they all basically in a in pre seceding states. That's why every other week you hear about Texas trying to secede. So when the Moabite Queen was reduced to African, right, those descendants of Noah, the original Canaanites, who are the original Atlantean, Phoenicians, Etruscans, Minoans, uh, Carthaginians, ancient Romans, uh, Macedonians, if I didn't say that, all the ancient uh, Peloponnesian people, Peloponnesian people, excuse me, as well as the Peloponnesian people, peoples, right? All of these were the descendants of Noah. All of these then had the original estates. But once the denationalization stuff started to come in and the African words started to come in, a, a, a abandoned estate across the board started happening. This was during the time, like I said, of Hammurabi Bay, during the rise of the Islamic Babylonian religious mystery system. That's why all of these ancient cities and, and places like that just seem to just disappear overnight because the peoples that were there, based on forced migration as well as catastrophe and war all were then displaced these were the original tribes of israel again the tribes of, that were infected with the yakub syndrome in the year 8400 that were roaming the wilderness for 40 to 400 years you know what i'm saying but in that era where in our time period, it's 836 B.C., and in their time period, it's, this is between uh, 836 B.C. to about 1196 B.C. In their time period, this is consistent with the years of 1416 to 1776, which is the direct decline of the Societis Republicae Yelamaticanus Estatus. The distance between these two time periods, when you add them up or whatever, is about 580 years. This is the 500 years or 400 to 500 years of slavery and intermittent conflict that's also spoken of, right? Because we know that chattel slavery that started from 1779 and ended in 1865 unofficially manifested then that 85 years as well. So on one hand, we have 85 years of chattel slavery. And then between the differential between the ancient Moorish calendar and the Gregorian calendar, we have a differential of 580 years, which again is the number 5 and 8, which again busts down to 13, which is knowledge, understanding, or being born to your culture, freedom, freeing your dome, out of the false history, also known, coined by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad as the 85% dumb, deaf, and blind. The 85% meaning the 85% of the masses that's out here today, of our people, 85% representing the 85 years of, of chattel slavery that was imposed on them that made them then believe the reconstructional history that there's something other than themselves to abandon their state. And the 585, 580 years between that, which represents the time difference and the calendar breaking between our ancient calendar and, and people and what we perceived as the original time or natural law or natural time into this new fake Gregorian system that has to redistribute itself every 365 and a quarter years. This is where you get the leap years and all that other stuff because you've got to account for this 580 years. They've only given you 365 days. But back in our time period, we told time by the moon. You see? Which is why we use this crescent and star because out of darkness comes the light therefore darkness moves faster than light 